New this morning, a Bossier City mother is sounding the alarm about a prescription mix up at a local pharmacy. Tara Thomas is warning others to double check their prescriptions before taking that dose of medicine. This morning, we have Tara's story of how her 13 year old was given the wrong meds and now CVS Pharmacy is responding. According to the Mayo Clinic, metoprolol is used to treat high blood pressure and trazodone is used to treat depression. Now, Tara Thomas is trying to figure out how her 13-year-old son was prescribed these two medications after being diagnosed with COVID. He was supposed to have a cough medicine and then zithra, what's a zithromycin uh, antibiotic for uh, like an ear infection as a product of COVID. Tara know. says while she was at work, her husband went to the CVS pharmacy on Barksdale Boulevard at Jimmy Davis Highway to pick up prescriptions for their son. But when it was time for another dose, Tara's husband told her something didn't seem right. He asked me, he was like, will you come and look at this real quick? Because this sounds like a tranquilizer or something. And so I was like, well, that's weird. It's probably cough medicine. You know, they were supposed to have prescribed him a cough medicine which they did, but it was not the cough medicine. I looked at it and it said, um, like, take for 90 days at bedtime. And I Googled the name of the medicine and it was uh, said antidepressant and sedative. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, why would the doctor prescribe this for COVID? It was at that point the family realized they were given the wrong prescriptions. The medication Tara's 13 year old son was taking was actually for a 30 year old man who suffers from high blood pressure and depression. The two happen to have similar first names, the same last name and the same birth month and day. However, their addresses are different. It actually hit me the address was wrong before I noticed the name was wrong. Tara reported the mix up to CVS's corporate office and filed a report with the Louisiana State Pharmacy Board. I would hope that the pharmacy would, you know, do something to ensure it doesn't happen again, especially really they seem like they're understaffed and it just seems like it'd be easy for something like that to happen. CVS issued this statement. It reads in part, we apologize to Ms. Thomas when she notified us that her son received the wrong prescription. We encouraged her to consult her child's provider before giving him any additional medications and are looking into how this happened to help prevent a similar error in the future. The health and well-being of our patients is our number one priority and we have comprehensive policies and procedures in place to support prescription accuracy. Like if they know that they're understaffed and they have staffing issues, is it really going to make them change that or is it just an acceptable risk to them? All right, so CVS went on to say prescription errors are a rare occurrence, but if one does happen, they use what they learn from it to continuously improve quality and patient safety. To read the full statement, go to KSLA.com or the KSLA News 12 app.